the number one reason that New Year's resolutions fail? That is what I'm going to share with you today. Let's go. Hi, I'm Alexa, a sports dietitian nutritionist. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you here. So we're in January, which is prime New Year's resolution season. And with that comes with all the New Year's resolutions, all the goals, a lot of them kind of linked to nutrition, fat loss, muscle building, health, all that sort of stuff. Well, as a dietitian, I've seen time and time again how New Year's resolutions come and go and how a lot of them actually don't get realized and actually fail for a lack of a better word. But why does this happen? Why do so many people start with a New Year's resolution but then don't see it through? Well, there are a number of different reasons why this happens and it is not something that you're alone in if this is you. It's happened to the best of us. It's one of those things that you know becomes a bit of a running joke, but at the end of the day, a joke only as funny as it can be. And at the end of the day, you wanna achieve the best you can for yourself. So that's why you're watching this video. I'm gonna share with you why this happens most often. And the biggest reason I find that actually stops people from getting a New Year's resolution and actually achieving that said New Year's resolution. Main reason comes down to how you are approaching these goals from a mindset point of view, yes, but also from the background stuff, the things that are going to actually help push it along. More specifically, the reason, the number one reason I see New Year's resolutions fail because of a lack of a true why. The why behind your New Year's resolution, the why behind that goal of yours is so, so important because it helps drive that through and helps keep you on top of things when things get tough. But why? That is why people that don't have a why behind their resolutions tend to see that their resolutions might fail or not be achieved as well as they were hoping for. Now, this is all based on the principles in the book Start With Why by Simon Sinek, but it really translates well to nutrition and health because truly when you think about it, what is stopping you from achieving that health result? What is stopping you from achieving that fat loss result? Whatever it may be, it's because obstacles get in the way and you don't really learn how to overcome it or you just want to give up and you do give up. But when you have a why, when you have a true why, the missing link for a lot of you, which is leading to a lot of kind of failure when it comes to New Year's resolutions, is that because you didn't have that driving force, you didn't have that perspective changer, you're finding yourself going, ah, at the first obstacle, what's the point? I'll give up, I'll try again next time. However, when you have a true why, what happens is you can fall upon that and go, okay, why am I doing what I am doing? Why am I trying to achieve this resolution? Why am I trying to achieve this goal? And that keeps you pushing along. As I keep saying, it's the driving force behind that goal. It helps keep you moving along. And that is why I want you to focus on every time you have a resolution, every time you have a goal, I want you to think about the why behind it, okay? Maybe even ask yourself the why five times so you can get really deep into why you're trying to achieve it. Because you're not just trying to achieve weight loss for the sake of achieving weight loss. There is a reason you're trying to achieve that. Find that why behind the goal. Find that deep why and you'll see how much easier it is to actually keep on top of your goals and actually achieve those resolutions at the start of each year. So you're not coming to January and then February and then March and the next minute you're in June and you're like, wait a minute, where did that resolution go? What's happened? I'll just start next year, which is what I see time and time again. It's unfortunate because you leave so many results on the table, but also you delay the gaining of those results until months later, you're wasting time. Stop wasting time. Time is now. Make sure you get those results properly. So there you go. Now you know that the number one reason that I find people fail with their New Year's resolutions is because they don't have a true why to drive that goal along. So now your homework is to get that why. If you find that you are struggling with your resolutions, that you are struggling with your goals, this could be that missing piece of the puzzle you put in there and things go smooth sailing from there. Now, what I want you to do is comment below. Comment below, let me know what is your current resolution? What is your current goal? What are you currently working on? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be interested to hear. As always, hit the like button if this video has been helpful, if it's changed your perspective and give you some value so you can actually start implementing more success with your nutrition. And until next time, stay classy. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.